So now the Super Bowl is officially over. Now it's time to get into the Las Vegas Raiders 2024 offseason. We all know that Tom Telesco is the new GM for the Las Vegas Raiders. And Antonio Pierce is the new head coach for the Las Vegas Raiders. In this video, we're going to talk about three moves that the Las Vegas Raiders need to make going into this 2024 offseason. Now play that intro. I didn't care as much about uh, being respected as I cared from the standpoint of winning about being feared and being imitated. And then respect could come after that. What is going on Raider Nation? What is going on? It is your boy Darian coming to you live with another video. It is nothing but Raider podcast. Shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. And this is your first time ever being at the YouTube page. We highly suggest that you subscribe, hit the bell button and get the latest news and all Raiders news. But we're back here with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about three moves that the Las Vegas Raiders need to make now that the Super Bowl is officially over. I want to shout out to JustBlogBaby.com for putting this article out. And this is according to JustBlogBaby.com. But I am going to give my opinion of these three moves that the Raiders need to make at the end of the video and give you my personal opinion and think that should the Raiders make these actual moves. So let's get into it and let's start it right now. Now, the number one move that the Las Vegas Raiders need to make, according to JustBlogBaby.com, and they have it on their list where the Las Vegas Raiders need to go find a veteran quarterback. The Raiders have long been speculated to be one of the more active teams in the veteran free agent quarterback market this offseason for a good reason. Jimmy Garoppolo isn't the answer, and while Aiden O'Connell played well in moments, it is hard to find many people who think he's a young franchise quarterback worth building around. The Raiders have the 13th overall pick in this April's draft, which most likely means that unless they trade up for one of the best or three or four quarterbacks in this year's class, won't be available. So that leaves them with a slightly unenvious position of having to bring in a free agent or trade for a team starter, though there are some intriguing options out there. Is Justin Fields available? Would the idea of letting Russell Wilson play against the Broncos twice a year intrigue him? There's more a few creative ways to work around paying a big money for a mediocre starter and the Raiders need to figure out what those ways look like. And the number two move that the Las Vegas Raiders need to make in this 2024 offseason according to JustBlogBaby.com is to get Max Crosby some help. Crosby a bona fide star, but the Raiders of the Raiders defensive front leaves a bit more to be desired. It's not like Bilal Nichols, John Jenkins, and Jerry Tillery were unplayable, but if you imagine that Pierce and Telesco think they could do better than pro football focus 97, 57, and 40th ranked interior alignment respectfully. Throwing a ton of money at Chris Jones to leave the Chiefs for a division rival would be quite the statement and immediately makes the Raiders defensive front twice as imposing. The Ravens' Justin Matabuke or Miami's Christian Wilkins will also be great gets through probably almost equally pricey. The good news is that it's a great year to be in the market for an interior defensive lineman. The ability to consistently get to the quarterback with only four guys is one of the biggest advantages a team can have in today's pass-happy league. And if the Raiders want to dethrone Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, they'll need to just do that. And the third move that the Las Vegas Raiders need to do, according to JustBallBaby.com, is being on the same page with our star wide receiver, Devontae Adams. Adams has been stuck in a rumor mill for about as long as he's been in Las Vegas, which is more understandable when Josh McDaniels was running the show. Things seemed to be better when Antonio Pierce took over, but the report from over the weekend talked about how Aaron Rodgers is still aggressively recruiting Adams to the New York Jets. That report also made it clear that the Raiders have no interest in trading Devontae Adams. If he wanted to make the Raiders life hell, he probably could. But if a bigger rebuild is coming, it'll be kind of hard to blame Devontae Adams for wanting out. He's still a premier wide receiver and Vegas will obviously 
honestly be the worst without him. But if a separation is inevitable, it'll be better to know that now than a year or two, getting on the same page and selling him on the immediate future is a must do this winter. Now, this is my reaction to this article according to JustBlowBaby.com. I'm gonna be completely honest. I think the first one going to get a veteran quarterback, I think that's smart. Go get a veteran quarterback and still get a young quarterback in the draft. Probably not in the first round, but somewhere in those later rounds. Now going to get Max Crosby some help. Like the names like Justin Matabuke, Chris Jones, and Christian Wilkins. I think there are some very notable defensive linemen coming into this 2024 offseason for the NFL and for the Las Vegas Raiders to help get Max Crosby some help. Now the third one, I disagree with it, but I agree with it. I kind of understand why the Las Vegas Raiders need to be on the same page with Devontae Adams because Devontae Adams wants to win. He wants to be a winner. He wants to win the Super Bowl. And I think the Las Vegas Raiders can put a roster together offensively and defensively to make that happen. But in the same token, if they are going to get into a rebuild process, I don't think Devontae Adams want to be a part of that. I think he's been here for the first two seasons and he see that rebuild did not work out. Now, I think he likes Antonio Pierce. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, y'all. New York Jets, you're not getting Devontae Adams. I'm letting you know that now. Aaron Rodgers, you can aggressively say what you want, but you're not getting your boy again understand you got garrett wilson over there with the jets but he's going to stay a las vegas raider if we can please him but i would not blame him if he did make the raiders a life of living hell instead of being like listen i'm ready to go i'm not a part of this rebuild i am a premier receiver in the league i'm probably one of the top receivers in the league and honestly i need to go so i can see Devontae adams doing that but i know he likes antonio pierce so raider nation how do you feel about these three moves that the raiders need to make i think the third move don't need to be made if you satisfy your star receiver in Devontae Adams and help him start winning some football games. But Max Crosby do need some help on the interior defensive line and going to get a veteran quarterback should be very interesting on top of getting probably Jaden Daniels if we move up from the 13th overall pick. But let me know what y'all think, Raider Nation. Let me know what y'all think. Put in the comments below. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It's the Nothing But Raider Podcast, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.